How's it going ladies and gentlemen? So today we are going to solve another coolest problem which is lead code 535 encode and decode tiny URL. So what will be our flow in this uh, approach is first of all we're going to understand what the problem statement is then we're going to talk about how to solve it approach and then we finally going to code it up. Okay. So uh, if you carefully look at over here what the problem statement they have given. They have given a very big problem statement like the overall what they are saying is like we, we have given up input something like this like let's say https lead.com problem design something and we have to convert it into a tiny url like we have to shorten the url generally like you know yeah, like you have seen the uh, kind of a short url so in that way we have to convert it okay all right so uh, if if i take this uh, similar example so if i take it over here then we, they have given something like https uh, the, the i'm talking about the tiny url the tiny url they have given tiny url.com oblique 4 e 9 i a k okay guys so we don't have to we don't have to look at over here we don't have to care about this part because this part they already provide us okay this part they will already provide us what we have to care about is the following this part we have to care about, care about this part okay so we have to care about like how we're going to generate these random numbers over here so we just, so our main focus is how to generate these random numbers okay all right so uh, now in order to solve this problem we they have given uh, two properties to keep uh, in our mind okay so the property number one is they, they are saying like we have to return and uh, the, the for, for making short url for making short url they have given two properties so like generally we are focusing on two properties okay so the uh, number one they have they are saying like we have to return n length of random string n length of random string where n is guys a variable like variable means like you, you know the 49 something like this the n length of random string we have to uh, we have to uh, return and second thing is we have to generate a random string which has to be unique we have to generate a random string generate a random string and that has to be unique guys unique uh, unique unique in the sense we like it does not has to be already exist in our map like you uh, it doesn't <laughs> Why I say out or push? So what they are saying like we have to generate a random string and which is unique. Like it doesn't has has to be assigned with with a uh, like for example like if you generate something like a e a e four five something like this and let's say if it is already assigned with another URL let's just say it is a uh, uh, Red Hat for example Red Hat dot com so it is already assigned with that one so then we we don't have to uh, generate this one we have to generate a random one which is a unique one which has not been assigned but it will gonna assign. Okay, I hope this thing is clear. So, like what I'm saying is generally, like for example, we have two long strings and a one short URL. Okay, so that will be an uh, invalid one because, like, two long URL and with the one short URL, that will be not the not a thing we want. How we want is one long, long uh, URL uh, assigned with a one short URL. Okay, this is a valid case. Okay, so. Uh, First, our first job, let's just talk about like two properties. Like, if we're gonna solve these two properties, then we're gonna solve our problem. That's simple as that. Okay. So, let's just see over here. So, our if you look at our uh, first property, they have given is n length random string. Okay. So, like now, your your first thing came in, in your mind. Like, how we're gonna assign like one to one. Okay. So, you know, one to one, one to one mapping we can do. And mapping means we wanna use hash map. We wanna use hash map. Okay. Now our hash map is, is of what? Our hash map will be of our map will be of string string. Okay, string string. Okay. Where where this string, where this following string represents tiny URL and this one represents our long URL. <laughs> Sorry about my bad handwriting, but don't worry. Uh, I will provide you the perfect notes and everything in the description section section just check out that link okay you you want to find a form over there so you don't have to worry all right okay so uh, you get my point what i'm saying so we have to we have uh, like we how we can assign by, by using a um, map okay map of string comma string okay now like now your job is to generate a random string for example like let, let's say i generate a random string i generate a random string i generate it okay 
and I generate something like let's just say A in the starting. So I will check is A already assigned in my map is already present in my map. If it is present, then what I will do, I will again gonna uh, add something a new character over here. I will again generate a new uh, variable anything. Okay, let's say I, I generate three over here. Now I will again check is it already assigned. If it is already assigned, then I will gonna uh, generate one more. Let's say I generate E over here A three E. And now I will check is this already assigned? If it says no no no, it's a unique one. So it's a unique one. So I will gonna assign with the low url so i'm going to assign with the long long url okay i hope so this thing is absolutely clear all right and like uh the second now this is our first case the first case is very simple like we we have to be uh very careful like how we are mapping it that's the only thing we have to be careful about and the second thing is like how we're going to generate it the main that's the main thing that's the main question is how we're going to generate it so in order to generate a random string like a unique random string what we can do is we gonna use the help of math dot random function okay math dot random method is a method okay so what this method is this method uh, generate a random number between zero to one okay it, it, it ranges from zero to one and from zero to one it, it will generate example something like zero point five two three uh, zero point two four one something like this and so and so on, okay something like this but but let's just say I want to I want uh, three in our map so for that one is 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 uh, like you know we are we are getting something like this. So what I will do? I will multiply my math dot random with ten. So what will happen? My it, it range become from zero to zero to ten. So it will range goes from zero to ten. But like this is like for example, if I if I want if I want something else, if I want something else, then what I can do is I will uh, multiply math dot random math dot random with what? With hundred. Okay. Now its range its range has converted from zero to hundred. I hope so. This thing is absolutely clear, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all right. Now, now, now you will ask like, how are we gonna do? Like, you generate hundred, but for example, I want, I want, I want uh, a in my in my random string. Then how will, how I will gonna uh, get that? So I will say it's it's very simple. What we gonna do is I will gonna type cast it. I will gonna type cast it. I will gonna type cast it with character. So if I gonna type cast this my method random whatever I will get with my character, then you know according to SKI table, then we, we we can easily get 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 our a. So for example, if I get something like uh, 65 over, or from over here, and if I type cast with my character, then I will I will gonna get uh, capital A. But uh, uh, let's say like you are I'm small a so small a uh, like decimal number is 97. Okay, so I will gonna get a uh, small a from over here by by type type casting it with the character. Okay, but you will say you will say sky you will say sky uh, table sky chart is ranges from zero to one twenty seven. So it has like approximately one twenty eight characters. But we we are just uh, like we are just taking hundred approximate characters. Okay, so th that will be our fun. That will uh, do our job. Okay, all right. I hope so this thing is absolutely clear. Now, now one more thing come over here. For example, if our method random function generates 0 0.5543, something like this, and and what I will do, I will multiply it by 100. As I said, I will multiply it by 100. Then what will happen? I will get something like 55.43, but there is no such value in our SKI table, which is 55.43, okay? So for that one, what I will do, I will use another uh, function called uh, that one called uh, method floor. So method floor, what, what, what it will do is it will gonna simply it will gonna simply round it off. It will gonna simply round it off. So it will round it off to 55. Okay. So if you look at our in in your map, what is the 55 is? So you will get your answer. I hope so, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is absolutely clear. Okay. So uh, I think 55 is assigned to seven. So you you will get seven from over there. I don't know. Let's just you will you just check it. Okay. All right. So now I hope so the question is clear. Now our final task is to uh, code this problem. Okay. So for example, we are given something like uh, a public class, like a uh, public class codex, something, something like this uh, in the problem. Okay. And my first job is, as I told you, my first job is to generate a map. I'm sorry, uh, create a map of a string, a string, where the first string represent tiny URL and the second string represent long URL map equals to new hash map guys remember the code and the like complete ac beautiful explanation as well is available in the description it's kind of a notes they are kind of a notes you can find it out from over there okay so it's not not no worry okay now i, I create a map now my second thing is to create a string in, in the string which i have to store which i have to store my uh, uh, random values so for that one what i will do i will create uh, i will create a user help of string builder function okay so if I use I have a string builder function SB equals to new 
string builder so i will gonna uh, add with my values so the the time complexity of this uh, method is just big of one so it's is okay to go with like if you just simply uh, go with uh, use a string and empty string then the time complexity for this one is big of n so it's, it's not a good practice okay all right so we just uh, did it over here okay guys now my now my another job is to uh, like not my job like what they have the what the pro problem they have given is we we have given a function public string encode string long url so they have given a long url now i have to attach a short url in in my map like i have to map this my long url with a short url okay so for that one what i will do i will uh, create a sb dot append i will use this sb dot append like i'm i'm adding to my string sb dot append uh, append okay and i'm type casting it with character i'm type casting with character with what method flow what is what is method flow method flow is our it will gonna round it off and with like how we are getting it with method random method random okay and we don't forget to multiply it by 100 that's the main thing okay guys so just be careful with that okay so you have done uh, till a beautiful part from over here now there is one more thing which i told you like for example like we, we generate a we generate a but they uh, like the a is already assigned then we want something three or something else like whatever whatever so for that one i will run a while loop i will run a while loop with a uh, like i don't know it till i will run but i will gonna run okay i will, I will tell you the condition later on like what condition we have to use over here and i will gonna do the same thing i will gonna do the same thing they have mentioned like i have written above okay the above same thing that the this thing i will gonna do similarly over here as well okay and finally i will gonna return it i'm gonna return it whatever I will. so now you just like till while loop will run my while loop will run till the like the map contains that value then my map contains that value this will gonna uh, this will gonna run this loop okay so till then we're gonna generate random numbers okay so simply i will say if my map dot contains contains key of what of uh, uh, sb2 string so we are converting to string sb2 string if that is available then you wanna you wanna uh, generate it random numbers okay i hope so this thing is absolutely clear ladies and gentlemen and finally don't forget don't forget to add it add it into our map so we have to add it into our map as well so simply map dot put sb2 string with long url okay so this is our tiny url and this is our long url as we as i told you and finally return sb dot to string okay guys i hope so this part is absolutely clear okay now our now our la last last part is to simply uh, say, like you know our last function we if for what if what if we get the short url if we get the short url then we have to return the long url okay so that that was the another function is saying so we again public a string and code I'm so sorry about my bad handwriting, but don't worry. The code, everything is given in the uh, description section. Just check out that link. It won't be an issue. Okay, guys. Okay. And finally, in this one, we're gonna return map dot get short url short url. Okay. If they are saying to get the short url, we will get it from over here. I hope so, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is absolutely clear. So yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we just solved our problem. If you still have any doubt or anything, just do let me know in the comment section. And thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And I love you guys. Believe me, I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.